Hey everybody! So today I already did a video and I said well maybe I'll do another one and so I'm gonna. Yeah! So I'm gonna do the I Heart perfume tag because I do heart perfume even though I don't really spend a whole lot of money on perfume. So, okay. So I'm gonna start with a couple perfumes that I like a little bit that I kinda, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just start. Okay. This one is Paris Hilton. I think it's one of her first ones that she came out with. And I've had, this is like my second or third bottle of this. And it's like half gone. I was really big into this one in high school. So it smells like high school. Oh, gross. <laughs> Just kidding. And I don't really like that one a whole lot anymore. And then my most recent perfume purchase was... Love and Glamour by Jennifer Lopez, and it looks kind of like geometric shaped ish person. And it's like originally like 20 something, but I got it at Walmart in the clearance section for like three dollars, so I was pretty excited about that. And you can't really, you don't have a tester or anything, so I had no idea what it's gonna smell like, and it smells good, but it wears off in like half an hour or something and it's kind of really strong when you first put it on so it doesn't always smell that great so I don't really wear that one very often um this I started using in middle school this might be the same bottle from middle school it's warm vanilla sugar by Bath and Body Works and it's like my original favorite smell from them that's I had the lotion and the spray and stuff all the time so this was like my favorite and it still smells delicious sometimes because it's just a mist I sprayed around my room. <laughs> um, this one I also got from Bath and Body Works a couple years ago, no maybe three years ago. It's Fruity and Bright by Pink from Victoria's Secret at Bath and Body Works. And it smells delicious and I've been using this one like every day lately. Because I ran out of my really super favorite perfumes. Um, this one is called Fire and Ice. It's by... I can't read it... Revlon. And this is a really good one. It's, um, it's got a really warm smell and it's a little bit musky but it doesn't smell like a guy. It smells really good. I like it a lot. People always like it when I wear it. But it's gone. So sad. But this one you can get at Walmart and it's like $10 for this little bottle. So I like that one. And I originally liked this one because my mom had it and I smelled it and I wore it and I loved it so I went and bought my own. Um, this one is also from Bath and Body Works. It's the Twilight Woods perfume. And these are like outrageous. They're like $30. And I kept the bottle because it's gorgeous. I love it, it's purple, and it's got the little woods thing on etched on the back, like trees, so it looks cool. Yes, and this is one of my favorites. It smells so good. I don't really know how to explain it. It smells a little bit weird now that it's kind of old and gone and dusty. And my all-time favorite perfume that I have found so far I got for my 21st birthday, which was like uh, two years and like one month ago, I went to Sephora. I never go to Sephora because we don't have one where I am. I have to drive like an hour or maybe half an hour to get to one. And I was smelling all the perfumes and I really like didn't like any of them. And then I came across Kat Von D's stuff and I kind of like her. So I decided to smell her perfumes and I ended up getting the Saint perfume by Kat Von D. And there were two bottle choices. One was like this cute little white one with like cute designs on it. And then the other one was this. It's very shiny. And it has little skulls and scrolly things on the sides. And it opens like this. And it looks kind of like a lighter. And there's the her crest thing or whatever on there. Kat Von D. So shiny. <laughs> but yeah, so you just 
you open it and then you press down like that. But this is the best perfume I have ever smelled in my life. It's kind of like fruity and sweet and just amazing. And it's my favorite. And this bottle was like 50 something. And the other little white bottle had just a little bit more perfume and it was like 60 I think. Something like that. But you can only get it at Sephora. And that makes me sad. And it's expensive so I haven't bought more. And I've been very sad that it's gone because I use like a million pumps of that like every day. It was my favorite. So that's my iHeart perfume tag. If you have any of these and you like them or didn't like them or any favorites that I didn't mention that you might think that I might like, <laughs> um, let me know below, leave a comment, and by the way, in my videos I've been saying that everything is backwards because when I record it, everything is backwards. Little did I know that after you press the little stop button thingy over here, that uh, everything flips. So you can read everything. So that's nice. That's a thumbs up. Thumbs up for that alone. Even if you don't like this video. Because that's awesome. Anyways. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe. Wherever the button may lie. Hit that. Oh. P.S. This is my, uh, my bracelet that I got for free on election day at Starbucks. And it says, indivisible, and it's red, white, and blue, and it's a little, like, double, yeah, anyways, in case you're wondering, I'll put it below anyways, because I'm cool like that, I guess, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay, so I still have a giant list of videos that I'd like to do, so I may or may not do a third video today, and see if I can upload them today, so I'll see you guys later, bye!